Hello everyone, my name is Zach Smith. I am the Executive Vice President of Educational Technology for HTML Coin. And today I'm going to teach you how to mine HTML Coin. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that we need to do is ensure that you have the most current uh, HTML Coin wallet. And we can get there by going to HTML Coin dot com scrolling down and grabbing the wallet now today's tutorial will be based on a windows machine with the nvidia graphics drivers all right so you just simply click here that will allow you to set up your download and set up your wallet the next thing that you will need to do is ensure that your wallet is up to date. Um, notice I have no blocks pending. Your miner cannot work and will not work until your blocks are current. Um, I will release a simple uh, page that will be in the description to help you accelerate that process by downloading the block in a uh, zipped uh, compressed environment. All right, great. Now, the next thing that we need to do is download the uh, CC Miner, and we can do that by going to this link, which will be in the description as well. Which is the crypto mining blog for the x15 minor download now you can also do a search for this cc minor space x15 space download and if you search for that it will be the first one um, either way works and what you want to do is download the updated cc minor with the x15 algorithm that is supported for the Windows OS. Now here you have some basic instructions, basic information about the X15 algorithm, a um, little bit of uh, general information. Okay, so let's go ahead and download this real quick. Now, this is an important part right here. CC Miner, this is blocked because Chrome has determined that it's dangerous. It's because of one of the algorithms uh, that it uses and it can be a pain to download if you're using Chrome. In this particular instance, I would recommend using the Explorer um, or Firefox uh, seems to um, work just fine and does not automatically discard it. Notice here Chrome has blocked it and won't even let you download it. I've opened Internet Explorer and we will go here. Again we will download. Maybe. There we go. We want to go ahead and save it and notice Explorer allows it to go through without a problem one of the reasons why you should not normally use Internet Explorer for uh, surfing the Internet. Okay, now that we have that, let's go ahead and find our file. We can just do that Control J real quick. We'll say open and it will take you to your zip file of choice. Inside the file you will have this structure and this is what we need here. However, in my particular situation, I just went ahead and extracted the entire uh, folder. Everything inside it. So we'll go ahead and extract that. Close those. And now we can go ahead and go to where it was extracted. So here's the original file. Here's where it was extracted. And we can go ahead and come into here. Now, your copy when you extract it will actually have an X11 and an X15 
just simply delete the X11, which looks like, let's see if I have one, I don't. Um, just go ahead and delete that, no big deal, because we're using the X15 process. And the next thing we want to do is open this X15 start. And we get there, we right click, we click on edit, and we'll get a notepad that looks like this. First thing we need to do is get rid of this address. So get rid of the, from the start of the stratum, all the way to the end of com, right here. And we're actually going to use our own uh, home address, 127. Dot zero, dot zero, dot one. So we will replace this address again, 127.0.0.1. And for the port number, we're going to work on port 6876. Now the next thing we need to do is name our worker, and you can just call that minor if you want. Um, or your name or whatever, it doesn't make any difference. And then for password, you can change that password as well if you like. All right, we'll just call this, uh, we'll just go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then you'll go ahead and save this file. All right, great. First part's done. The next part is a little more complicated but not too bad. What you want to do is hit the Windows and R button and you'll get a run screen like this. And you want to type percent %A -P -P -D -A -T -A, percent and that's app data in between two percent signs. Click OK and it will open a new um, Windows Explorer and notice it says roaming on here. This is important. Now scroll down until you find HTML5. Inside here you will see your wallet information. This is your peer dat, uh, your debug information. This is where your database resides. So this is uh, information you normally don't want to tamper with because it is it could be risky. Um, in this case what we're going to do is create an HTML file um, that will col uh, collaborate with the bash file that we just, uh, or the .bat file that we just created. Let's right click on the debug. You can say open. And then just delete all of this out. Wow. Hit control A and delete. And then go to file, save as, this is critical. Name it H with a capital H T M L coin dot C O N F and change this save as type to all files. Now I already have one, so I'm just going to call this HTML coin. Oops, no, get in there and call this test so that I don't overwrite my current file. That is a good miner. Save it, excellent. And notice that it has this blue tablet um, information and it also shows the cont file. All right, that cont file is important. It re it's a configuration file and it's required. Okay, the next thing that you need to do is Type the following, daemon, D-A-E-M-O-N, equals one. No spaces in between the word, the equal sign, or the number. Server equals one. Listen equals one. Discover equals one. Gen equals zero. R, P, C, allow, IP RPC allow IP equals star RPC port equals 
six eight seven six that's what we put into our dot uh, bat file r p c user equals minor r p c password equals one two three four five six seven eight I believe is what we did um, the next one now we have a connect so it's connect equals 162.243.107.119 connect again 201.22.16 4.142 connect equals 107.170.88.156 okay that's it file and save and you should see it in right here okay now we can go back to our wherever we put our folder here I called mine coin mine into the CC mine here and we can hit the start and notice that the command prompt pops up provides the information you gave here now what's showing here is my normal uh, the next thing it'll show you is the date, the time in military time according to your computer, which GPU you're using, the GeForce uh, GTX 780 in my case, whichever um, graphics card you're using, and the number of hashes per second. Now you can see here I'm getting 1200 ha kilohashes per second that's actually because I'm already mining and so it's reducing the amount of kill hashes it can perform because of the separate instances. Once you see this right here and you let it run a couple of times and you're not getting any errors, you are off and running. I hope this has helped you out. If you have questions, be sure to leave them in the comments. Um, as always, if you like this video, like and subscribe. And thank you for choosing to mine and be a community member of HTML Coin. As always, happy mining, happy coding.